everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today I'm going to be telling you about 10 books that I want to reread. Rereading books isn't something I tend to do a lot of. I definitely spend the majority of my reading life reading new books because there are so many amazing sounding books out there and I want to read as many of them as I possibly can. So I only end up rereading a handful of books each year but when I do, I absolutely love it. There's something so amazing about getting more out of a book on a reread. And there's also just something so lovely and comforting about revisiting a book that you love. So I've got a pile of books here that I've only ever read once that I really want to read again. So I'm gonna tell you all about them and why I want to reread them and how I'm feeling about rereading them. So the first book that I want to reread at some point, I actually don't have here with me because I'm lending it to a friend. It's that good. <laughs> and that is Tin Man by Sarah Winman. This is a contemporary literary fiction novel that, to put it briefly, focuses on two men, Ellis and Michael, who have been best friends since they were 12 years old. This is one of my favourite books of all time. It is in my top tens tag video, which I will link if you want to go and hear about my favourite books of all time. I love it so, so much. And it's a novel that I consider to be essentially perfect for me everything that I want from a literary fiction novel, this book has. It is character focused, it's told through multiple perspectives, it looks at themes of love and friendship and understanding. The relationships in the novel are realistically complex, it's really raw and thought provoking and really emotional. When I read this novel for the first time, I remember being blown away by how powerful it was, especially considering how short it is, Every word in here has been so perfectly placed, so much care and attention went into crafting it, and the result for me was stunning. So clearly I think this novel is amazing, and that does make me feel a little bit nervous about rereading it, because I want it to remain as special to me as it currently is. I just had such an amazing reading experience with it the first time round, and I want to have that again, fingers crossed. The next book that I want to reread at some point is a poetry collection, and that is Spacecraft by John McCullough. This is a contemporary poetry collection that discusses many aspects of life and love and human relationships, including the author's own experiences with the death of his partner from an AIDS-related illness. This was one of the first contemporary poetry collections that I read that really blew me away. It might be my favourite poetry collection of all time, but it's definitely one of them. This collection had everything that I wanted it to have when I read it. It discusses really important contemporary topics and it's really insightful into human interactions. It has cleverly intricate wordplay and the imagery is gorgeous and it just elicited a really emotional response from me. There was just so much in this poetry collection. I could tell there were so many layers to the writing and that there was so much more from it that I could have been getting. So that is what I'm hoping for from a reread. The next book that I want to reread at some point this year is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. This is a very famous and well-loved feminist dystopian, which I'm sure all of you have heard of. It is set in a very oppressive and patriarchal society called Gilead, where women who are fertile are given to the upper classes to have babies for them. I read The Handmaid's Tale years ago now, probably like six years ago now, and I really loved it at the time. I remember finding it so shocking and thought-provoking and really affecting. The Handmaid's Tale sequel, The Testaments, is coming out later this year, as I'm sure all of you have heard, and I am very excited. So I'm probably going to reread this novel before I go on to The Testaments, just because it's been so long and I really want to refresh my memory, and I think reading them both together will probably make for the best reading experience, so that's the plan. The next book that I'm going to talk about in this video is a classic, and that is Howard's End by E. M. Forster. This novel is set in London in the year 1910 and it follows the two Schlegel sisters, Margaret and Helen. In this novel, Margaret and Helen meet the rich business owning Wilcoxes and they also meet the poor downtrodden worker, Leonard Bast. This is another all time favourite novel of mine. Like Tin Man, I discussed it in my booktube top tens tag. But this is more of a recent favourite of mine. I only read it last year for the first time and I instantly fell in love with it. I found this novel to be so perfect on all of its levels. I loved all of its characters, especially the kick-ass and independent Margaret and Helen 
Helen. I love the really charming and engaging storyline. I love the exploration of the class system at this time in the novel and I loved all of the other themes that it explored. I am a little bit apprehensive about rereading this one again because I want it to remain as perfect to me as I currently think of it as being. I don't want to notice any little things and think Ah, uh, shit, wish he'd done that better. But mostly I'm just really excited to reread this one. I want to read it over and over again in my life and become really familiar with it because I love it that much. The next book that I want to reread at some point is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This is a modern American classic that is set in New York in the 1950s and it follows our protagonist called Esther who is very beautiful and very successful but she's going through some kind of mental breakdown throughout this novel. This is a book that I read ages and ages ago. Like The Handmaid's Tale, it was probably over five years ago that I read this and I don't really remember it. I know that I loved reading this novel while I did. I found it to be really shocking and a really intense reading experience. I remember thinking that the characterization was done really, really well. I just think I could get so much more out of this novel from a reread, partly because I'm sure there's so much to it and I don't think endless rereads would be wasted on it, but also because I'm older now than when I first read it. I've had a lot more life experiences. That all being said, I don't think that rereading such a psychologically dark book will be happening for me anytime soon. I don't think that delving into insanity in a really intense and immersive way <laughs> and reading about themes of suicide is something that would do me any good at the moment, what with my mental health being unstable. But at some point in my life I will definitely be rereading this one. The next book that I'm going to talk about is Whore's Water by Sarah Hall. This novel is set in the 1930s in a very small and sheltered village called Mardale in the Lake District, England, and throughout this novel a man arrives from industrial Manchester with plans to build a reservoir in the town. I read this novel probably about three or four years ago now and I absolutely loved it. I was actually given it by my grandma after she read it and loved it. Sarah Hall is from the Lake District, where me and my family are from, if you didn't know, and so the setting in this novel is so special and familiar to me. While I was reading it, I recognised a lot of the descriptions of the landscapes, and that was just really nice. I also thought that this novel captured small rural village life really, really well. I loved witnessing these characters living their lives and witnessing their reactions to change and their desperation to keep things as they were. I thought that was so spot on. I just really want to revisit this story at some point. I want to revisit all the characters and her lovely writing and have that really nice nostalgic feel of reading about home again. Really, this just isn't a novel that I want to forget, so I plan to reread it quite soon. The next book that I want to reread at some point is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This is Jane Austen's most well-known and most well-loved novel, and it follows Elizabeth Bennet, who is navigating the marriage market with her sisters when two eligible bachelors come to the village. As you all probably know by now, I absolutely love Jane Austen. She's amazing. I think she's such a queen. I actually did a video recently talking all all about Jane Austen's novels and ranking them from my least favourite to my favourite, which was a lot of fun. Pride and Prejudice is the Austen I read the longest time ago, apart from Northanger Abbey, maybe, but it is the one that I've reread the most. It's the one that I read first, and it's the one that I read the most when I was younger. And I absolutely love this novel. Persuasion is my favourite Austen. I think I'll hold that till the day I die, but this is a very close second. It's so bright and sparkly sparkling and charming, the characters are brilliant, their interactions are so perceptive and often hilarious. The pacing is perfect, it has just the right amount of tension and drama, it's really intelligent and witty, and of course it has a perfect happy ending. Rereading this novel is just a guaranteed good time for me, there is no doubt in my mind, it is like an old friend I can rely on and I'm just excited to get to this again. The next book that I want to reread at some point is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. This is a very well-known American dystopian that focuses on a man and his son as they make their journey through the burnt and ravaged landscape. So this one is a bit different to all the other books on this list 
because this one I actually distinctly disliked when I read it for the first time. I read The Road for the first time when I was 17, I was studying it for my English A level, and I really did not like this book. I just found it so grim and hard going and unengaging and frustrating in the ways that Cormac McCarthy just abandoned grammar and all language structure. Apparently I wasn't as up for experimental writing back in the day. But this is one of my friend's all-time favourite books. Jason from Old Blues Chapter and Verse absolutely loves this novel and he's a man which I respect many things about, one of those things being his reading taste. This book means a lot to him and he sees a lot in it, so I am willing to give it another go at some point for him. At some point I will challenge 17 year old Jasmine's views on this book and we will see how it goes. The penultimate book that I'm going to talk about in this video is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. This is another literary fiction novel and this one follows the life of four men who meet when they're at university and become best friends and they all move to New York together and throughout the course of the novel we get to see them live their lives. This is another book that I absolutely love. I consider it to be one of my all-time favourites. It's in my top 10 video. I devoured this book when I read it for the first time. I love books that focus on characters and characters that you really get to know and that you get to see develop over the years and I love learning about their relationships with other characters and how they change. The writing in here is also gorgeous and engrossing and descriptive. I was so into this novel when I read it. It was just such an all-encompassing, rich reading experience for me, and this novel hit me really, really hard as well. I had a huge emotional response to it. So naturally, I am a little bit apprehensive about rereading this one because I want to have that amazing reading experience again, but I'm just really, really intrigued to see if that will be the case, and I'm just looking forward to delving back into this world, to be honest. And the final book that I want to reread at some point that I'm going to talk about today is another one that I don't have here with me. I think this one might be at home at my mum's house, and it is The Little Prince by Anton Saint Uperi. This little book is translated from the French and it follows a little boy who leaves his home planet to travel the universe and he has many interesting encounters along the way. I read this book years and years ago. I was probably like 12 or 13. I read it for school and I remember really enjoying it at the time but getting the sense that the more philosophical and spiritual and moral aspects of the novel were going over my head somewhat. If I'm honest, I just don't really remember this novel that well at all, and I really want to. I think that I would really enjoy it now. It sounds so up my street, and so at some point I'm going to reread it. So those are 10 books I want to reread at some point. If you've read any of them, then please let me know down below how you found them and we can talk about them, or if you're just wanting to read them at some point as well, then tell me that as well. Do you like rereading books? That's something that I'd be really interested to hear about. How often do you reread books? Do you reread books that you didn't like so much or do you only reread your favourite books? Let's just chat down below. As always, I absolutely love that. I love talking to you all and appreciate you commenting on my videos so, so much. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you're all well and I will speak to you soon and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!